Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're taking a look at something that I saw and I just had to check out. And it kind of won me over at Parker Jotter. And what this is, is this is a Parker Jotter fountain pen. And I saw it when I was browsing around online. And, well, you know, sometimes you get curious and just have to see what it is. And I'll include the link in the description if you want to check it out and if this video if this pen actually works out because I have not opened this yet and I want to take a look at it and see and it looks like my box has been retaped which is somewhat concerning but who knows maybe the box just had a tough life and the pen inside is wonderful maybe All right. Parker, blah blah blah, Parker pins. Alright, so we got that. Let's see if this thing comes with a converter. Okay, it doesn't, well, actually, before I say it doesn't come with a converter, let's check inside the pin. Maybe check inside the pin. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, so no converter, which is okay. I think you can get converters for this online on the internet. Let's pop that in, screw that back in, and possibly prepare to ruin a set of gloves. Alright, I gotta tell you, I kinda like the look of it. It's a little bit. Hold on, let me grab a Parker Jotter for comparison. Alright, so this is a normal standard Parker Jotter, and this is the Parker Jotter fountain pen. Okay, so although it seemed like this was bigger, they're actually about the same size. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Alright, so about the same size as a normal Jotter, which is good. Let's see if the ink has had time to do its percolating thing and found its way down. And uh, this one is uh, the Parker Jotter Medium Point. Uh, I think there was a Fine Point as well. And you should be able to find it from the link in the description. So... Ah, here we go. Alright, so this is a Parker Jotter. And this is Fountain Pen. And it's a medium point. It doesn't write too bad. I mean, it seems to... It seems like it's a teeny bit, like, wet, I guess would be the term. The, there's a lot of ink flow, and maybe it's just the ink. You might be able to find, like, ink with the converter. Like, get, a, get the converter for it, and then go you know, with the ink. Hmm. Not bad though. I uh, will dazzle y'all with my artistic talents. So, makes a crab okay. It doesn't write too bad. And I mean, I think this one was 12 bucks. So it's actually a little bit cheaper than the the Pilot Metropolitans. So it's an interesting pen. I'm not like unhappy with it. And at twelve bucks, it seems like a kind of pretty solid pen. I think the body's aluminum. Yeah, I think it's aluminum. So it's not bad. It's not a bad little twelve dollar pen. And I think they had these in a number of different colors. I got red because, you know, sometimes you have to be stylish. 
Plus, you want it to match your Swiss Army knife. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. Have any of y'all tried the Parker Jotter fountain pen? Do you like it? Dislike it? Just think it's kind of meh? Let me know in the comments. And if you've enjoyed the, if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I hope y'all have an excellent day.